Hey, this is Sampath. You're watching Sampath SanFX YouTube channel. If you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. You can see this is a Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. It's applicable for Poco M2 Pro and Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9S also. This is particularly for Note 9 Pro Max only. I have currently that device. I am running the Pixel Experience ROM. You can see Android version. 13 and the security patch is february 5th i already done a january build of this particular rom now i have been using for one month what all the improvements i have noticed and what all the benchmark is as well, who is the bat life everything will be explained in detail hence stay tuned till the end of the video we'll be going to get all those things you can see the kernel is 4.14.290 lineage is kernel and build date you can see 2023 31 that's the march second build this is a typical home screen you get and this is a quick settings panel it's quite fine here i haven't faced any problems in the edit section you get still more toggles if you want to add them you can drag and add them and the power button and settings button has been moved downwards you already know that typical home screen you get all the wallpaper selection from here you can just see if you go into change wallpapers you get all the wallpapers wallpaper colors you can choose here as you can see the combination of the colors even in basic colors also there are some combination of colors you can do that this is a proper android 13 feature you get a dark theme again you can enable or disable from here themed icons is in beta if you want to make that beta icons i mean themed icons then you can do that app grid is given from 2 into 2 to up to 5 into 5 is available the ui is very very smooth operating this ui with note 9 pro max is very very smooth in my opinion i have been using for last one month now it's been a uh, lot more days using this particular rom i will switching some other roms now i have downloaded some of the roms will be doing those reviews also but i want to test this pixel experience rom on this redmi note 9 pro max now see the fingerprint scanner as you can see it's quite fast here it's not the quickest i can say but still it's fast enough to unlock your smartphone using this particular rom in the uh, pixel experience and uh, face unlock also i will try to show you as you can see it's getting unlocked using the face unlock also it is quite fast in my Open. now seeing the benchmark this is like android benchmark you also judge the app opening time here you can see three lakh eighteen thousand seven hundred and eight which is good in my opinion but could have been better that's how it is and 3.4 degrees celsius is the battery temperature is and one percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this entire testing of android benchmark which is very good only one percentage of battery drop during this testing is a quite interesting in my opinion and some of the other results i haven't found geekbench 5 from play store hence done with geekbench 6 itself and cp throttling also let me show you that you can see the geekbench 6 score 730 is the single score and 1577 is the multi score and linux 4.1 4.290 lineage os kernel has been used here and this is the cp throttling test results and this is a hundred threat test guys you can see the maximum is around 194 and average is 157 and minimum is 137 it is throttled to 78 percent of its max performance which is good in my opinion mostly you get green lines with yellow no red lines or anything like that says the rom is very very stable enough here to use it as a daily driver now camera i have installed this arno build chicken which is going to work fine as you can see this is the version of gcam i am using if want you can use any other gcam port the agc camera is recently trending you get like a integration also that will be working in most of the smartphones i think for Redmi note 9 pro max 9s 9 pro and even poco m2 pro those are working fine i think so and i want to mention this one also the charging speeds and you can say that this rom is just showing charging later sometime it is showing charging full in nine minutes it's not showing charging rapidly but i have tested with 33 watt charger it is working fine it is charging pretty quick enough to uh, fully charge 100 percent within a given time that's fine here and again internet connectivity i haven't faced any problems call quality everything is fine earpiece quality is fine taking calls on loudspeaker is also fine here and video calls are also working fine no problem regarding that and that's it i think so okay safety status obviously it will get passed you can see 
no need to worry you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay everything going to work and google photos unlimited storage is available that's quite obvious because it's a pixel experience room and DRAM information is also level one certified you can see and typical settings again you will get basic settings here i already explained that in previous video you can check out nothing change here accessibility minutes and handy feature just turn on and use it as a uh, handy feature if you don't want to use the physical volume buttons you can use here as you can see virtually you can increase or decrease and some of the other settings also you can do that this is a very handy feature you should definitely try it out and display size and text again font size if you want to increase and even displays is entire you can see the quick settings panel is little bit tiny if you feel so then you can increase even you can decrease that too and wallpaper sound style this section i already shown and display uh, here dark theme you won't get any option to make it pure black condition that's the only complaint if they can give it out that will be better night light and again colors options and we don't get any refresh rate option obviously it's a 60 hertz uh, refresh rate available and battery again the battery life is quite interesting here it hasn't showing any uh, battery statistics here currently but the battery life is very very good you can expect 9 to 10 hours of screen on time on this for redmi note 9 pro max if you have similar smartphone you would you might get similar battery life but it is a daily it depends upon the what all the usage i mean i haven't played any games here in this particular rom hence i am getting very good battery life if you play games you might get around five to six hours of screen time continuously if you play games that's all guys if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now